Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. Today is World Teachers Day. It's celebrated annually on October 5th, reminding us of the, important, the importance of education being a beacon of hope and a catalyst for change in our world. Now, the 2023 theme is the teachers we need for the education we want, the global imperative to reverse the teacher shortage. This morning, I welcome Councillor Orlando Kerr, Assistant Secretary of Education, Research and Technology at the Tobago House of Assembly. Good morning to you, Councillor. Hi, good morning to you, and, and good morning to your wider view and listening audience. How are you doing this morning? Well, I, I'm doing quite fine. I'm really happy and to I hear that. Thank doing, you so much. You're doing fine as well. I am Pardon? so far. Thank you for joining us for World Teachers Day celebrations this morning. Uh, I want to know, but first of all, uh, what incentives the division uh, have to show appreciation to teachers? Well, at this time, um, given the, the shortage of resources that we have, um, it's very difficult to do so, but earlier this year, um, I think it was in February, we had our teachers' appreciation function. Mm -hmm. and now it was a toss up because, as you are well aware, um, and if you have been following what has happening in this, uh, what has been happening in the space, we had numerous challenges with our infrastructure and with furniture and with all the, the resources that we need for education system, and we had to decide whether or not you know, it was worth spending additional money to, you know, to show our teachers appreciation. And at the end of the day, we did decide that we were going to have an appreciation function for our teachers here in Tobago. So we had an appreciation function in February um, of this year to show our teachers um, our gratitude for the, the, the kind of work that they are doing, even under the current circumstances that they face on a daily basis. So that, that was one of the, 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 the more recent gestures that we would have done to show teachers that we, we do appreciate what they are doing and we understand, you know, the, the immense task that is ahead of them. Uh, you, you mentioned the limited resources and, and the decision to have a, a celebration or appreciation function rather than, than to be able to put some of that, that same, would it be the same funding that would go into just doing some of the repairs and fixing some of the resources that, that are needed for the education, for the teachers rather? Well, well, you had to. We had to do a toss up, as I said. And um, what we would, we did, we did something that was very lean. Um, but we needed to really show teachers the appreciation because coming out from the COVID and and all of that, um, and and you are well aware of, of the challenges that many teachers faced during COVID, mm -hmm. and and the way that they were able to, you know, some of those challenges and so on. So we took a decision that you know. It's it's a, a kicking out the egg scenario because damn if you do, damn if you don't in some instances. And we felt that it was important enough for us to, you know, really show our teachers that we care about them. And it's not only about, you know, um, asking them to perform, but mm -hmm. that we also recognize the importance of, of their contribution to, you know, our students and so on. So we felt that notwithstanding that the, the resources are challenged, that we it was important enough for us to, to show that gratitude. Tell me about some of the ways that teachers would have transformed the education system on the island. You talk about the hard work that they've been putting in. Tell us about some of that hard work. Well, we, we have teachers um, in Tobago. Many teachers in Tobago go above and beyond the call of duty. Mm -hmm. and, and that is a reality. We have a lot of teachers who take a lot of their own personal time in developing our students. I mean, we have our sporting programs that go on after school, late into the late hours of the afternoon, that these teachers volunteer their time. We have teachers who volunteer their time by giving extra classes to students. We have teachers who sit during their lunch break and work with the weaker students and so on. So we have a lot of examples of teachers who are here in Tobago who are giving above and beyond the call of duty to ensure that our students in Tobago receive a quality education. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to really thank those teachers and, you know, it's it's really a fitting time. I think it's unfortunate though that we only recognize teachers, you know, really um, on the fifth of October because I think teachers need to be recognized all the time. I myself been a teacher for the last twenty nine years. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand how difficult it can be at times, and that you know many persons don't understand how difficult it is to to really be a conscientious and dedicated teacher. 
And the thing is that our teachers are responsible for the next generation. So if we want good adults, we need to make sure the teachers are motivated and happy to continue doing the fantastic work that they do. So I firmly agree with you there. Uh, when we, we've been talking about the budget all around the country for the past couple of days. Uh, in terms of the budget allocations to Tobago, are there any changes that you can see coming forward that would be able to assist the education system and teachers in particular? Well, um, it's funny that you mentioned the budgetary allocations to Tobago because uh, we at the Division of Education, you know, we have been challenged um, ever since we came in as an administration because the budget is woefully short. Uh, we came in at a time when we met uh, huge debts to teachers, as a matter of fact, um, in terms of the increments, in terms of the gratuities and so on. And the budgetary allocation for that um, that we get from the um, the Ministry of Finance is approximately eight million. However, but councillor, however, I, de I just wanna I just wanna interrupt for a second, councillor, because uh, the minister did mention some of the things that she spoke about there. When you talk about gratuity and back pay and that kind of thing for teachers, they should be on the list because two have signed up. Yes? Call again. If you need it. Hello. All right, we seem to be having some technical difficulties there with Councillor Kerr. Uh, hopefully, we can get him back on the phone. But I know that, you know, we are celebrating teachers, and we do want to recognize the, the hard work the teachers have put into place over the years. And, of course, they continue to educate generations upon generations. And each and, one, each and every one of us uh, definitely have a, a fond memory of a teacher. Some people didn't have all, the, all good experiences, but, of course, teachers are human as well. And some days will be less than perfect, and some days will be perfect. But some days, you know, they work with what they have, and we really, really appreciate the work that teachers have been putting in. So again, uh, we were chatting there with Councillor Orlando Kerr, the Assistant Secretary of Education, Research and Technology out of the Tobago House of Assembly. And, you know, he was just get, giving us a little bit of the celebration of teachers. Uh, 